Hey, who are you supposed to be? I'm the new GoPro Hero 3 Plus. Well, I'm the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition. What makes you so much better? Well, I'm the Black Edition too, and I'm smaller, thinner, faster, and lighter than all the other GoPro models. Oh yeah? Well, I helped Joe Drums 2112 out with all his videos, and I'm his over-the-head camera. That may be, but I'm going to help Joe Drums 2112 get his wide-angle view from the front of his kit, and my picture is going to be sharper, clearer, and less distortion than you. And my buttons are bigger and shinier. And I have a thinner, clearer plastic case, better than yours. Is that so? Well, naughty frickin' duh! Oh, and by the way, my battery life is longer, and I can shoot at 1080p at 60 frames per second. Okay, okay, all right, you win. I quit. Well, hello everyone. This is Joe Drums coming to you. Hope everybody's doing great. I'm doing awesome, getting better. My head cold's getting better. I uh, just wanted to talk to you guys today a little bit about uh, the last video. I uh, made a little kind of a blues uh, number called the uh, Joe Drums Jam. And uh, I was messing with the EQ and so I thought was a really good EQ. I thought the bass was pumping pretty decent in these two monitors. I have these KRK Rocket 5's and it seemed to be pretty good as far as I could tell but uh, however I was getting quite a few um, comments on uh, YouTube about that particular song and I guess like I said a lot of people were saying that they couldn't hear the bass drum at all so today I actually redid uh, the EQ on it and I got the bass drum hopefully pumping up there for you guys and your speakers like I said, there's a lot of different ways you can EQ. I do know a lot about uh, EQing and recording and stuff, but however, this last recording I just did, I kind of rushed myself a little bit and didn't think it through. Because uh, there's a lot of different types of speakers out there. There's a lot of different um, stereos. And when you play this stuff on different iPods and iPads and car stereos and regular stereos and portable stereos there's just a lot of different variations when it comes to mixing the drums so that everybody's happy with the quality of the sound so that's what I'm still learning I'm still learning how to get those um, frequencies to kind of come out so again I apologize for that last video uh, please let me know. I'm going to play the video for you today. It's the same exact video, but the audio has changed on it. So just to let you know, it's not a different whole video because I just wanted to use that same video and see if it's getting better out there. So uh, I would love your feedback. I love positive feedback. The negative feedback I, I don't need. Uh, I'm trying to do some professional work here. So any, any little bit that any of you guys can help me with, that would be great. I'd appreciate it. Because I'm always have open ears for different, you know, constructive criticism when it comes to videos and audio. So please do that for me. The other topic I'd like to talk about today is um, this book called Advanced Funk Studies. It's by uh, Rick Latham. When I got this book, this was back in the early 80s. Uh, I was taking drum lessons at the time, and this was the book for learning funk patterns. And this is a really good one. Again, I'm always talking to you guys out there about different books. You know, I've talked about the Monster Book, the Mini Monster Book for rock drumming, and uh, quite a few other ones, the uh, Modern Reading Text and 4-4 Time. So there's a lot of good books out there. But this particular one, um, like I said, I took drum lessons with, and at the very end of the book, there's actually 10 drum solos. And I decided to pick one out of there, um, which I picked the last one, uh, the solo number 10. So I'm going to show you what that looks like today. And uh, you guys, like I said, check this out. If you get a chance, check this book out. I'm going to be doing some excerpts from this probably in the next couple videos. So you guys can do some funk stuff. Because a lot of times, you know, I usually talk about different rock things or jazz things. But, uh, you know, funk is kind of somewhere in between. It's, it's kind of jazzy. It can be. It can be kind of rock, real rock oriented as well. In fact, some of these funk patterns you can actually put into rock. 
and, uh, and and make it a whole different kind of a spice on uh, on those different kinds of uh, patterns. So um, we'll be talking about this book pretty soon in the uh, the weeks to come. Again, check that out when you get a chance. Until then, you guys take care, keep rocking. Talk to you then.